Venus is often referred to as Earth's sister planet, our twin planet. But if Venus is our twin, she's the evil twin, because Venus is hell. Hey there, my name's Chris and welcome to Simple Home Science. On this channel we do experiments, demonstrations and documentary style videos just like this one to help make science simple, fun and educational for children of all ages. And if you're new to the channel and you want to join us on our journey, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Let's get to it, shall we? Venus is the second planet from the Sun and the second largest of the four terrestrial planets. Orbiting the Sun at a distance of approximately 108 million kilometers or 67 million miles. Venus is the closest planet to Earth and is the brightest object in the sky after the Sun and Moon. Depending on the orbit of Venus compared to Earth's, the planet can sometimes be seen during the day at sunrise. On its journey around the Sun, Venus overtakes the Earth every 584 days. When this happens, the planet goes from being visible just after sunset to just before sunrise. This is why Venus is often referred to as the evening star and the morning star. Venus orbits the Sun every 225 days and rotates on its axis every 243 days. So like Mercury, a day on Venus is longer than its year. This is due to the planet having an extremely slow rotation. If you were on the surface at the planet's equator, you could jog faster than the planet rotates. Venus has the slowest rotation of any planet in the solar system. Due to this slow rotation, Venus is the most circular of all the planets. All eight planets orbit the Sun in an elliptical orbit, but the orbit of Venus is also the most circular. Venus rotates backwards, it rotates clockwise. This backwards rotation is known as retrograde motion. Uranus is the only other planet in the solar system with this retrograde motion. The Romans knew of seven bright objects in the sky, the Sun, the Moon, and the five brightest planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn. Because Venus appears so majestic and bright in our skies and seems almost enchanting at times, the Romans named the planet after their goddess of love and beauty. Venus is often referred to as Earth's sister planet, as the two planets are similar in terms of size, mass, and gravity, but that's where the similarities end. If Earth and Venus are sisters, then Venus is the evil sister. More on that to come. The planet measures 12,100 kilometers or 7,522 miles across. The planet's diameter is only 638 kilometers smaller than Earth's, and Venus has about 81% of Earth's mass. Gravity on Venus is slightly weaker than that of Earth's. If you were to weigh 10 stone on Earth, then you would weigh 8.8 .8 stone on Venus. Venus is one hell of a planet, the planet is quite literally hell. The planet may be nice to observe from here on Earth, but up close, eek, even though Mercury is closer to the Sun, Venus is a lot hotter. A lot. Average surface temperatures can reach 462 degrees Celsius. That's an incredible 863 degrees Fahrenheit. Hot enough to melt lead. As if that wasn't bad enough. Because of the thick atmosphere, the surface pressure on Venus is 92 times stronger than here on Earth the heaviest atmospheric pressure of any planet in the solar system. And to add insult to injury, it rains sulfuric acid there too. Venus literally is hell. The planet is the victim of a runaway greenhouse effect. At some point in Venus's history, it is believed that the planet may have had liquid water on its surface like Earth. As the young sun grew hotter and hotter, it warmed up Venus to the point where its oceans evaporated and boiled away. This released water vapour, which is an excellent greenhouse gas. The consequence of this accelerated the heating of Venus as the carbon dioxide dissolved in the water was released into the atmosphere. And this heated the planet even more and thickened the atmosphere a lot. Venus does not have a magnetic field to protect it from the solar wind coming from the sun. Over billions of years, the solar wind stripped the lighter elements and the water vapour from the atmosphere and left behind an atmosphere that is 96% carbon dioxide, 3% nitrogen, as well as trace amounts of sulphur dioxide, argon, carbon monoxide, helium, neon, and very small amounts of water. Sulfuric acid clouds form very high in the atmosphere, and these clouds are very white and reflect pretty much all of the sun's light back out into space. This is the main reason why Venus is bright and easy to see from Earth. Apart from Earth, Venus is the most explored planet in the solar system, with over 20 different missions sent to the planet from various space agencies around the world since 1962. The most notable of these missions were NASA's Mariner 2 in 1962, 
which made Venus the first planet to be observed from a spacecraft, and the Soviet Union's Venera 7 in 1970, which was the first spacecraft to land on another planet. There are missions in the pipelines for future visits to the planet of hell, but nothing confirmed as yet. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like, it really does help the channel out. And let me know in the comments below what your favourite part of the solar system is. For me personally, it's Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. Really looking forward to featuring them later on in this series. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and click the bell notification icon so you don't miss anything. Until next time, see ya!